A solitary witch likes working alone, you're not forbidden from casting spells with others when you're a solitary witch. Temporary covens and small groups made up of solitary witches form all the time. The difference is that these people don't make it a regular practice to perform magic together. A solitary witch must be comfortable working on their own. This includes researching, performing spells, and developing their craft without the guidance of a teacher or group. For some, this may seem scary. For others, it's an obvious and perfect choice. You don't need to be an introvert to prefer practicing witchcraft on your own. There are many extroverted solitary witches that simply prefer to develop their own unique witchcraft without the input of others. Solitary witchcraft helps them take responsibility for their actions. When you are a solitary witch, there is no one to blame but yourself when a spell backfires. If you are not mature enough to self-critique, you would be better off finding a guide or teacher to help you develop that maturity. Solitary witchcraft requires the practitioner to remember the details of her daily practice and what is needed for one-off spells. This includes protection before casting a spell, gathering all tools, and remaining focused on the goal. Some find that practicing in a group helps them to maintain that focus. Others find a group setting to be distracting. If you are in the latter group, you are well suited to being a solitary witch. Solitary witchcraft helps to better understand themselves of course, every witch should delve into their psyche to truly learn who they are. The fact is, though, that many covens don't encourage and facilitate this journey. When you choose solitary witchcraft, you have no choice but to work with their shadow selves and learn what their truest self is. Doing so makes their magic more powerful, and most deities and spiritual guides require it. Working on your own helps you to do this, as well. In a coven, every personality adds a pressure on the practice. This means the magic performed and spiritual work done is what is compatible with every person. It's an average, rather than something specific for one person. A solitary witch desires to make their own rules, when you work alone, you can do whatever fits your ethical framework. If you don't ever want to do curses, you don't have other people in a coven pressuring you to take part. If you do want to do curses, no one else's opinion can stop you from doing so. A solitary witch must become comfortable with discomfort. In a coven, it can be easy to become codependent and rely on the instruction of others to get work done. This is detrimental to your personal growth. Are you a solitary witch? Of course, there are many more personal reasons to become a solitary witch. These are just the big reasons that draw people to this path. Solitary witchcraft can be so deeply rewarding, but being in a coven can be rewarding as well.